Composition is so important to the look and the feel and the storytelling aspect of your photograph. One of the most basic composition principles is called the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds breaks your frame into thirds by drawing two horizontal and two vertical lines. The rule of thirds states that the four points where these lines intersect are the strongest visual points of your photograph. So when you're taking photos, keep that in mind, and those four points are where you want to place your subject to create a visually strong image. All right, so let's take a look at some examples. It would have been easy to put this couple in the middle of the frame, but moving them to one of those four points really changes the feel and the look of the photograph and draws your attention to that moment that they're having. Uh, in this photo, you can see that we basically lined up, um, we composed it right on those lines uh, to create a visually strong image. Uh, in this image, you can see we put her eye, which is usually the focal point of a photograph, um, right on one of those cross points. It's also important to realize that when you're going to have motion in a photograph, or if you have a person looking a certain way, uh, it's usually helpful to leave some space in the direction that they're looking. When you're taking landscape photos, it's important to put the horizon on one of the horizontal lines from the rule of thirds. So basically you're going to choose whether you want the focus to be on the ground or on the sky. If you have your horizon right in the center of the photograph, it can make it feel a little awkward. Another great composition tool is using negative space. So imagine a white screen with a little black dot on it. All of that white space would be considered negative space. And what happens is your viewer's eye is immediately drawn to that little black dot. So this is just a great way to really kind of spice up your photographs uh, and make them visually interesting. You can do this by using um, a white sky or a wall, um, or if you're shooting in a really dark area, you could only have your subject lit. Um, and this really draws the viewer's eye to your subject. So let's take a look at some examples.